What's going on, guys? Your boy Terabyte Reacts here. And I'm back <laughs> once again with another reaction. You guys should know by now why I do that pause, okay? Um, it's some crazy times in Ippo right now. Um, first of all, let me apologize um, to you guys. No fault of my own, of course, but still, I am apologizing for not having that episode for that episode not being ready for Tuesday and you guys had to wait until um it was like four o'clock Wednesday morning yeah <laughs> yeah that's I woke up and I saw that it was processed and ready to go and I just I just hit publish let's do this so um so yeah must apologize for that um because as you guys know, I want to stay on this schedule. So, we have another super reaction coming up. So, there you go. Two days in a row, you get Ippo reactions instead of waiting a day. Okay? So, talking about what happened in the last few episodes, man. Last super reaction we did. It was great. It was awesome. Um, we got to see the setup for Takamura. Takamura is still having weight control problems, of course. We got to meet the fighter he's about to fight the eagle golden eagle whatever they want to call him um <laughs> it's very funny we got a very um interesting episode of umazawa you know showing the friendship between him and ippo and where they were coming from if you remember we met um, um umazawa in the first episode of this series in the first very first episode he was the bully that was bullying ippo um in high school and and grew to be his greatest fan his best friend so that's really deep man really deep wish wish we could experience stuff like that in real life you know what i'm saying where your your greatest enemy becomes your greatest friend you know truly truly your greatest friend um that that does not happen in real life very often and i think it's something that should happen more because um, forgiveness is the biggest thing that you got to look at is forgive that forgiveness causes that because Ippo could really hold that grudge. He has the right to hold that grudge, right? But he didn't. And he accepted Umazawa, even though he never got an apology for it, never got an apology for the bullying. Um, he, and even when, Umazawa was was trying to to apologize. He's always wanted to say something about it. You can see that in that episode, man. That he always wanted to say something about it. And as I was um was was saying during the episode, it's you know they're not gonna care. Honestly, they they you know they're not gonna care. They accepted them, brought him into their home and everything. You know what I mean? So it's like. I never expected the mom to act out and be like, why did you do that? And blah, I never expected that, not even for a moment. So I'm definitely, definitely glad that he got it off his chest, um, knowing that he became Ippo's biggest fan, his best friend. Um, by no means, I think that is anybody else. That's Ippo's best friend, you know, and I know you guys out there that we're holding back those tears you need to let them go you know we we all want to be manly men but sometimes you gotta let the tears flow you know and i was <laughs> i actually pinned the comment there and i was like man that was that was a um i teared up a little bit that i don't know if you guys notice but i'm pretty sure when i watched over when i was looking over the um the reaction you know I could clearly see that they were that my eyes um, got a little bit redder. Red. <laughs> I want to say redder. No, um, it got red, and you know the only thing was left to do was tears to fall down my cheeks, but that didn't happen because you know you know we're not gonna full on go ball. <laughs> we're not gonna do that, but you know we're not gonna you know we're not gonna do that. But definitely, definitely, that was an emotional scene. That really got to me, right? So, I really, really appreciate you guys for showing um, 
some some love <laughs> it was like one person but anyways man that was um let's jump into these episodes um you guys already know what to do remember the super reactions are on the google drive for season three can't upload them to youtube okay so go ahead click that link in the description and let's go watch these episodes hopefully i can do more than three today depending on how it's going because if we're just gonna get some more slice of life and training episodes then i might cut it short because i don't want to start the fight and i'm like five episodes deep you know what i'm saying so hopefully um we get at least through um the three fights prior to the championship fight at least that today okay so thank you guys for watching as always go ahead click that link and i will see you guys for the review the first thing i want to say off bat is the fact that these these five episodes you know we laughed i almost cried there at the end um I almost shed a tear there it was a very emotional moment because we know what both of them mean to each other we know the only reason why um could, yes we know the only reason why ippo the only reason why takamura boxes is to realize the old man's dreams right so their relationship is very unique in the anime it's you know him taking them in and steering him in the right direction. Takamura really respects him. Um, but he's the he's the worst and the best you could have of a child, right? So, old man loves him, but he goofs off too much. You can never act like a champion, right? Um, he does it all for the old man. He does it all for the old man. Not for his personal glory. And that's the best kind of... Um, to do something like that, put your body on the line like that for somebody else because they taught you. And there's some real deeper meaning to their relationship because it's not about the, 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 um, you know, the old, the old man gave him, gave him, gave him a, a way out. You get what I'm saying? Save them from, from so much. You get what I'm saying? He was heading down a very bad road when they met. Um, so you guys don't understand. Like a, a lot of people in real life. You have a lot of people. A lot of guys, I should say. That get into boxing. And you, you guys. If you guys don't know this. A lot of guys that get into boxing. Um. I don't know about this modern age of boxing, but I know back in the day, um, back in the day, when you're talking about Muhammad Ali, those guys, um, back in those days, maybe probably up to even the 90s, most of the guys that get into boxing guys are like, they're delinquents. As somebody saved them, like see something in them and say, let me help you get all this frustration out. And they just happen to just fall in love with boxing. Or they just want to hurt somebody. You know what I mean? And they get into boxing. And they succeed. You know. So it's not so far-fetched for f the relationship that Takamura has with him. Because he saved them from all of that. He saved them from, you know could have ended up being incarcerated being in jail because of fighting maybe killing someone because you punch so damn hard you know what i'm saying so it's it, it it you have to i look at it from that perspective you know because he saved them from a lot and i and i think takamura knows that in bottom of his heart he knows that and that's the reason why he's like listen man this is all for you this is for you. You've been wanting this for forever. So, and you do so much for us. The, all the success is for it, it is basically because of the old man. All the success of the gym is because of him. He's a great trainer. You know, even though he allows them to develop their own strategies and 
and and special moves and stuff like that it's always he's the driving force behind everything so he's a very extremely important character in the, in, in this in the anime even though he's kind of a he's a main character but still he's not the main main you know what i'm saying so uh, but he's definitely top five character in the anime no doubt about it top five um way more important than kimura aoki to me um you know what i'm saying so i'm just saying like he's up there definitely top five um so i definitely i i like his character because he's you know a lot of the anime is built on him you get what i'm saying getting these guys to the point where they need to be to get to every fight ready right he trains them so hard even though he knows that they're naturally they're naturally talented he just works them he makes them understand that listen your talent alone is not going to win every match you know because i mean remember when takamura just seemed invincible you remember that and now like pretty much every fight now that he's on the world stage pretty much every fight is like brutal going down to, to 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 the wire you know what i mean so in this fight him versus eagle i want to talk about the other fights miata did his thing y'all knew that was going to happen that wasn't there was not any doubt in my mind that miata would win this fight but to how they were talking about golden eagle you know there was a small doubt there for you know go leading up to the fight because they said man it looked like this guy has no weaknesses um and as much as I want to feel good, Takamura is already a champion, so the um, the writer could easily write him losing this match and trying again. You get what I'm saying? So he's already a champion. You know, he could have tried to go for a second belt and failed at doing it and get beat up, but he pulled through, got the win. Um, this match was brutal. They both got cuts, um, and it was a good match. It was a good match, good sportsman. Good sportsmanship on both sides. No love lost for for e for Eagle. He was never a bad guy, so I can't talk shit about him and say he was terrible. You know what I'm saying? He was he was a great opponent for Takamura to go up against. He wasn't a bad guy in in any way. You know what I'm saying? He was um, respect for the sport, the boxing. He's talented, but he works hard. Um, so this was basically hard work versus hard work. Who comes out on top? You know, it was a great match. You you pretty much didn't know who was going to win because it was like it's tit for tat. You know what I mean? So this this one really, 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 really was a good fight. I don't want to say top five yet. I don't know if I should put this fight as top five in the anime so far. I'm going to probably have to watch it again to kind of dive into it and be like, what did they do differently or so amazing? The meaning of the fight is definitely top five, you know, the meaning of it. But the fight itself, was it that great? You know what I'm saying? Like him versus Hawk. Like there was nothing out of the ordinary other than the fact that they both were hurt the uh, the the you know him being hurt him not wanting to punch him in the face and stuff like that that happened as i said the meaning of this fight um definitely top 5 but the fight itself for me to say it's a top 5 fight in in ipo so far i'm not seeing that yet but maybe when i'm looking when i'm watching over this um the reaction and stuff before i put it up on the google drive maybe you know, I'll see something that I really love about it. Um, but for now, I don't think so. Maybe it's definitely top 10, but not top five. Um, um, so yeah, it was pretty cool, man. That was a pretty cool stretch of episodes. Um, you already know that Aoki and Kimura's fight was going to be funny. Did them going up against two of the funniest looking dude dude coming in the ring with a fake mole on his face you know what i'm saying and he having the same the, the the same type of thing both of them did the look away at the same time that was hilarious but the most funniest thing about these stretch of episodes was 
was um golden eagle saying jesus that thing killed me bro <laughs> you mean you ever get hit so hard you're like god damn <laughs> you know that was hilarious man um so as you guys know i'm gonna actually go put that on a community tab and in the discord right now that you guys won't get evangelion and cold Geass until um you won't get that until friday okay so you get these you get this on Thursday and then Friday you get that because I had to record these five episodes. Um, because as you already know how I do things over on the channel here, um, when it comes on to super reaction, I don't like to blue ball myself or other people when it comes on to these reactions. Cause then you have to wait another day for me to actually, I don't want to be in the middle of a fight and then end it. you get what I'm saying? So if I'm already in the fight, I'm going to end the fight. When the fight ends, I end the reaction. Okay, so that's what we do over here. So, um, but thank you guys for coming over and watching, man. It, it was an awesome time. Um, I don't know what happened on the last. I mean, I know the last video didn't have that much. Um, it wasn't that ex exciting, but um, hopefully um, things will pick back up with this video. Hopefully, hopefully you guys come over and watch the review for this it was a great stretch of five episodes man i really enjoyed it we have about three maybe about four, i think it was like four episodes left in the season um yeah we're going to to 25 so four episodes left um and people said that somebody was telling me like the two last episode of the season is really good or maybe i think they were talk i no it wasn't ipo they were talking about kogias um so yeah thank you guys for coming over man this this was super exciting i can't talk too loud because it's already too late here at home and that's the reason why i can't record the other two um that i usually do um for anime day so thank you guys for watching as always man and highly appreciate everything you guys do on this channel. You guys have been really supporting these Ippo videos. I can't even lie. You know what I'm saying? So make sure to comment. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. And leave a like on this video. I highly appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching as always. See you guys on the next one. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. And peace.